हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ एस वी डॉट नेट कोर इन दिस सेशन आई विल शो यू व्हाट आर द स्टेप्स टू सेट अप डेवलपमेंट एनवायरनमेंट फॉर एस वी डॉट नेट कोर सो देर आर टू सॉफ्टवेयर दैट वी नीड टू इंस्टॉल फॉर डॉट नेट कोर एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट दैट इज वन इज एडिटर अनदर वन इज डॉट नेट कोर एस टी के दैट इज सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट किट so in this video we'll discuss few points that is uh, download and install an editor for dotnet core development download and install dotnet core sdk and uh, steps to find install version of dotnet core sdk know about dotnet core runtime and dotnet core sdk all right so to download and install an editor for dotnet core development Uh, I have Windows operating system, so I will be using Visual Studio as editor for .NET Core application development. So you can choose any editor. There is more uh, editors except the uh, uh, Visual Studio, that is for Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, Sublime, Vim, and Atom. All right. So this kind of editor you can use for .NET Core application development. Okay. now how to as my operating system is visual studio so how to download and install the visual studio so if you go to that link visual studio.microsoft.com here you can see as of now the latest version of visual studio is visual studio 2022 it is community edition professional enterprise community is free and you can use the community edition uh, but due to some performance issue in my uh, operating system i am using visual studio uh, 2017 here all right so i'll show you that is visual studio 2017 a uh, community edition so it is the visual studio community 2017 uh so you can also install 2019 or 2022 here as for your operating system and configuration as for your operating si operating system all right so uh, to develop dotnet core application in visual studio 2017 uh, i will select the dotnet core cross platform development uh, in workload so how to find it if you'll go to uh, that is the this one uh, visual studio community 2017 right and uh, you can see under workload uh, that is the visual studio installer so if you click on the visual studio installer you will get one interface like this right uh, here you can uh, install some other packages as per your requirements right so if you select on workload all right uh, under workload you can select the other tools all right if you select other tools there is one checkbox you can see dot net cross platform development i already have installed okay so after installation with this uh, selection so dot net core sdk 2.1 is installed so i'll show you here uh, that is dot net development environment and dot, uh, so if you sc scroll down you can see .NET Core 2.0 development tool and .NET Core 2.1 development tool. The these things will be installed once you select this option and click install using Visual Studio Installer. Okay, and uh, you can also verify this by creating .NET Core application as well. So I'll show you later. And so there are uh, other ways we can install it. Okay. Uh, so how to do it i'll show you that one also so how to download and install dot net core sdk so to dot net core sdk if you'll go to this url okay so this url will show the latest version as of now there is dot net 8.0 okay and there are many uh, details you can see dot net 8 release type and the latest release you can see using this link so uh, as for my 2017 uh, uh, visual studio i have installed that is sdk 2.2.101 and you can see visual studio support is visual studio 2017 and in included runtime is dot net runtime 2.2.0 
so this is the SDK 2.2.101 and .NET runtime is 2.2.0 and the language support C sharp 7.3 and F sharp 4.5 and Visual Basic 15.5 all right so as per your uh, operating system you have download and install the SDK okay and the SDK includes everything you need to build and run the .NET Core applications so the .NET Core runtime is already included in the SDK so if you have installed the SDK there is no need to install .NET Core runtime so the .NET Core runtime includes just the resources required to install existing .NET Core applications okay so uh, so I already have installed the .NET Core SDK 2.2.101 so how to find whether it is installed or not so we can do it in two ways uh, first of all I'll go to my C, dri C drive and program files .NET and SDK you can see this all the SDK versions this one is 2.2.101 it is installed if you click this uh, folder you'll, you'll get the related files and in other way we can uh, we can find out using the command prompt so if you uh, open the command from as a administrator so using C drive you just write the command dot net space dash dash info so you'll get this uh, this one you can see dot net core SDK base path this is the path I have shown you right 2.2.101 and this is the runtime 2.2.0 if you go here you can see this is the runtime 2.2.0 so it is showing same thing here and the dotnet core sdk install 2.1 this is the all the dotnet core sdk versions earlier it was 2.1 and uh, later i have installed 2.2.101 and the dotnet core runtime install version is you can see all the dotnet core runtime version the latest one is 2.2.0 so in these th two ways we have we can find the dotnet core runtime and dotnet core sdk install version all right so guys here after .NET Core SDK install I will create a new .NET Core application and I'll show you that uh, uh, how what is the version of a .NET Core in that particular application all right so for that I'll go to my Visual Studio 2017 click on file new and project and select the .NET Core and ASP.NET Core application here and if you click OK so you can see the drop down .NET Core and in the right hand side of this drop down we can see the installed version of .NET Core SDK so there is three types of .NET Core SDK .NET Core 2.0 core 2.1 and 2.2 all right so here uh, you can notice dotnet core drop down list we have we can see the sp.net core 2.2 whatever after installation of this version from this link this is a dotnet core sdk so the same thing reflecting in my visual studio while i create the dotnet core application in visual studio all right so this dotnet core 2.2 is coming additionally with the .NET Core 2.0 and 2.1 so in this way we can find the installed version of .NET Core 2. Uh, .NET Core SDK uh, in Visual Studio while you create the .NET Core application okay uh, so guys in my next video I'll show you how to create a new SP.NET Core web application using Visual Studio so I'll go to my presentation here so this is the editor we need for .NET Core application development and what are the what, how to, uh, what the different difference between .NET Core runtime and .NET Core SDK. So the SDK includes everything you need to build and run the .NET Core applications. .NET Core runtime is included in SDK. If you install the SDK, there is no need to install .NET Core runtime. .NET Core runtime includes just the resources required to run the existing .NET Core applications. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.